What's up everyone, it's Bones here. In today's video, I'll be showcasing some deck lists that I think would be fun to use for the duration of the new ban list that we don't have Darkwing Blast and the upcoming sets, as we pretty much know that tiers are pretty much going to run rampant until then, and then maybe we can see if the Bisted cards actually do something to slow them down. But before I begin, if you happen to enjoy content like this, clicking on those thumbs up and subscribe buttons would be greatly appreciated as it goes a long way in supporting the channel and shows me that you like content like this. So for the first deck list that I'll be showing here, we have Heroes. Heroes now have three Fusion Destiny, they have three A Hero Lives, three Ferris. I think that this deck is a lot better than it's ever been because of all of this. The Rivalry and Dark Angel lock can shut a lot of decks down, and being able to play Super Poly as hitting Dark Monsters isn't too uncommon. I feel like the deck has a lot going for it, especially since even without the Rivalry and Dark Angel stuff, you do have Dark Lock, and we see how much tears can struggle against Shifter, even if Shifter isn't something that you can necessarily super poly away. And right now, along with everything else, it can kind of just play Mystic Mine, it has accessibility to Droplet, and EEV is a really strong card. So even if this list isn't perfect, it's a deck that I definitely recommend giving a try if you're looking for something to play until the next set comes out. The next deck here, and this one has probably been shown to Oblivion, which is a list Jesse Cotton shared today, and it's Runic Spellbooks. I do think that the Runic stuff is the correct way to go with the Spellbook deck, considering that the Spellbook field spell is extremely slow, and I can see the draw 1 to 3 off of Fountain, along with the mind being able to slow games down being a huge benefit to this deck outside of the fact that they've already gotten the ability to get into Jogan through the Spellbook of Judgment. As you can see, the extra deck also has a lot of space here. On the list that Jesse posted, he was only showing the fusion monsters here. I'm assuming he hadn't finished the rest of the extra deck, so I went ahead and did that. And seeing as Huggin is level 2 and Blue Boy is level 2, I felt like Sky Cavalry and a form of removal along with access into Zeus here was a good usage of slots here while being able to go into Lena through Huggin and Blue Boy or Dark through the Gary and Blue Boy, or Area even, through any of those, along with Sprite Elf, and then being able to hop into your Unicorn, or if you use your Charmer to revive a Link 2, you can get into Access Code to clean stuff up. That was kind of just my thought process when it came to filling out the rest of these extra deck slots, but you're free to do with them as you want. Another thing that you can probably do is play around with the ratios of the runic and the spellbook spells i feel like a judgment build may want to have more spellbook spells but seeing runic cards is also important so i think that there's definitely room for exploration here i don't think that there's much to explain outside of that as this is a pretty straightforward deck now onto this last deck profile and this deck profile, I kind of just want to show for the memes. But now that Fusion Destiny is at 3, I wanted to make a deck with DPE and Mirror Jade having the Fright for Patchwork Engine to grab yourself the extra body. A Runic spell can get you into your Huggin or Gary. And if you happen to draw one of the bricks, you can easily just go into Guardian Chimera and play Runic Control from there. I also thought it was kind of cute how you could get the draws from Chimera, the Dasher Celestial with the DPE, Chimera also getting the pops along with all the forms of removal and negation that the Runic spells provide along with the Super Polys. But take this as a meme as this deck can easily get hit hard by other 
opposing runic cards because as you see you are playing one 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 and if any of them get banished by your runic cards it kind of does kill your engines and there is stuff that you can do to mitigate that but then you make the build more bricky but this is just a fun concept i wanted to show nothing else but anyways that's all for today's video i apologize i wasn't able to get any replays Unfortunately, I'm kind of solo on this. I don't have people I can test the new format with unless I actively look online, which I just haven't had the time to do. As between work and YouTube, I'm kind of hitting about 14 hours of work a day or so, but it's nothing to worry about as I'll continue to pump out content. I'd also like to add that from my next videos moving forward, I'll be starting to cover Darkwing Blast as these next few weeks to me don't kind of mean much in the TCG. My body's just ready for Darkwing Blast to come down and get some of these new cards now that we finally have gotten the list. We're just a few weeks away, and change is always fun in Yu-Gi-Oh when it gets here. But anyways, if you made it this far into the video, I thank you for watching. If you have any suggestions, feel free to leave them down below. It's Bones, signing out.